Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Black Operation One, and we are on Fishing Planet today. I uh, hope you enjoyed the first episode of Fishing Planet. Um, I know I did. Without further ado, let's jump into the inventory to set up some uh, equipment. Okay, so for tarpon um, and gar, we are going to need some. Uh, we're going to need some rigs for close. Well, from mid to top range, um, and also we're going to need uh, live baits for them. So we're going to go with shiners and uh, large minnows on this one. Um, we want bait section here, so we want large minnows, and we're going to want shiners. So we need to make sure we have enough minnows. So we've got la enough large minnows, we've got 27 large minnows, uh, but we've only got three shiners. Now, do we have any here? Yeah, we have 15 shiners in here. But, um, ah, backpacks full. Okay, so let's get rid of some of the stuff here. So we don't need that. Don't need that one. You know, thank you. Uh, duck meat. No, I'm not going to take that. Finger bullet. Uh, I'm not going to take the blood. Frogs. So I'm just going to get rid of some of this shit we don't really need. Uh, Sanfies. Don't need. Spawn sacks. Don't need. Cheese. Oh, Dobles. Mm, corn. I'm going to need them. Uh, small minnows. Uh, I could literally just get rid of all this, but I don't want to because... Um, we might do some other little bits, of, you know, other fishing there, like a bit of pan fishing. Uh, we're not going to need the carp stuff. Um, they've also got a new catfish in now, uh, which I've I've caught a couple of them, but yeah, they 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 seem to be. I don't know. I kind of just caught one like accidentally, but I struggled to even you know to catch a second one. Um, I'm going to have a look at them in a second. So, these are all the basic, like, uh, I don't use marshmallows. Basic uh, baits I use anyway, so I'm going to keep all them. Uh, no, here. Uh, I want the shiners. And we're going to take the rest of the large minerals here. We've got four there. So, we have. Might need to buy, actually. Let's go and buy some more large minerals here. So, we are going to want a live baits. Um, large minerals? No, sorry, shiners. I meant shiners. Uh, could use crawfish. These are brilliant, uh, but we won't be using them to on. Um, we won't be using them in the Everglades. Sorry. Uh, so we want some shiners. Let's buy some shiners. Okay, so we are here in the Everglades. As you can see, absolutely beautiful. Now, every time you enter a location um, or come to a location, it always starts at five in the morning. You always get here at five in the morning, and. Uh, Obviously, that's not... Well, sometimes 5 in the morning is ideal for fishing, but today, it's not. We are going to need to skip time to about 1pm. So let's quickly do that now. And that's when the fish are going to be more active because of, of course, temperatures and time of day, etc, etc. Alright, now we are on the this peg here, which is the lily pad channel. Alright, and as you can see... There's a lot of places to fish here. You can get some gar around this spot here. You can get some bullhead around this spot here. Uh, but we're here for the bass. We're going to get some peacock bass to start off with. Uh, sometimes you'll notice some big ripples in the water. That's the gar. Um, but yeah, we won't be fishing that at the moment. Let's get some bass. So I'll come here. So when you come here, you will start like back here. All right, come to about, come to right this corner here. Then you want to look like dead center here. And line it up to about middle, and then cast in. And of course, being a crankbait, all you got to do is put it to two speed and just hold the reel button. Do this a couple of times, and you should get a bite. No, no, we got one straight away. One straight away. This is a peacock, or it could be a smallmouth. Okay, this fish definitely got some fire in it, which is nice. So that's when you know you got the perfect setup. You're not having to adjust the tension at all. Uh, no, it's a oh, gee. Okay, we got a gar. We got a gar on the crankbait straight away. All right, I wasn't expecting that. I was not expecting that. Now that see that ripple there, the right there, right there. That is a gar. Okay, but I was not expecting the gar straight off the bat. I did not fight like a gar either. So. Yeah, that was that was a little bit, little bit, little bit unexpected. A little bit unexpected. Okay, snagged up a bit there. 
That's the only problem because there's a lot of reeds over there you can get snagged up. Just, just be careful. Okay, straight into another one. Please don't tell me this is another gar. If I'm going to fish out another gar now, I'm going to be freaking amazed. It's big, whatever it is. Okay, we're going to have to fight this thing. I'm trying to, trying to hope it breaks water so I can definitely tell if it's a bass or a gar. I'm hoping it's a bass because that's what we're here for at the moment. Come on, break water. Break water. Jump again. Jump again. Got to keep that tension, but obviously you want the fish to do all the work here. You need that fish to knacker himself out. Come on, tire, mate. Tire. Just keep pulling on back on that rod there. Keep pulling back on that rod. Try and lift that head above the water. <laughs> it looks like another gar. Are you serious? I've never caught gar. On the crankbait here. Never. I've always had to use float. This is another gar or is this a bullhead? Let's fight like a gar. <laughs> I'm actually amazed. The first, I've never really, I've, I can say I've made some good set, gar setups and stuff, but I've never really, you know, this is untested setup. This is just something put together. Right, I'm using the crankbait, which is what I swear by. And this is why I swear by it. Look, two casts in. First cast, we get a gar. Second cast, we get another gar. This is definitely a gar. There he is. Beautiful Florida girl there. Still fighting right to that bitter end. That's a trophy one as well. Look at the size of this thing. Absolute monster these guys are. This is why I love fishing for gar and love fishing for catfish. They are fighters. Absolute fighters. So, again. Let's see. I think I've gone a bit too far there. Yeah, I've gone a bit too far. I'm right in the lily pads over there. But it should be fine. Should be fine. If we get another hook, another Gari, and then we got the spot Gari. Look at that, straight in. Now this, this, this is a bass. This, oh, no, it's gonna prove me wrong again, isn't it? <laughs> you know what, ladies and gentlemen, this could be another Gar. No, nah, it's, it's bass. It's bass. It's a bass. Yay. We finally caught what we came here for. A bass. Yeah. It looks like a big mouth or a small mouth bass. Big mouth bass, I think. Uh, large mouth bass. Sorry, not big mouth bass. There's a trophy one as well. Nice. Nice. First bass. And it's a nice trophy. Uh, big mouth. Now, mainly here for peacock bass, though. Uh, peacock bass are absolutely beautiful, obviously. But every cast so far, we've managed to catch and straight in. Bang, there we go again. And what we've been, we started at 1 pm and it's now 20 minutes past 1 in the afternoon here at the Everglades. And we've banged out this the fourth fish. Oh god, yeah, he's, this one's a fire. This could be another gar. Nah, it's not a gar, it's bass. Another big mouth. Okay. No peacock so far. Another big mouth. Why do you go on big mouths? They're not big mouths. It's large mouths. I do apologize. Some reason my head is telling me it's a big mouth. I don't know why. Uh, trophy large mouth. Sorry. So yeah, I do apologize. Just my head's... Yeah. my, my I just keep having brain farts today. Okay. So we snag straight away. There you go. Now we're off the snag. We're gonna we're gonna hook another one here. We're gonna get another bite straight away. Now this is what I expected from the first two casts. Exactly what's happening here. No bites. This is what I was expecting from the very first two casts. But this is what fifth cast, and we caught four fish in twenty five minutes. Again, this is why I swear off the three foot, three odd uh, crankbait, blue crankbait. Red one is just as effective 
Uh, no color preference really needed, but the blue one is the main one I use. So of course we're just going to keep casting this spot here. Casting out to this spot, reeling in with the crankbait and see if we can get anything. We should get some more bites eventually. We've had the luck of the ponds already, so luck of the fish gods. Already, so well, I'd be happy if we don't get any more bites. I wasn't expecting to get that many gars straight away. That was absolutely beautiful. Now, gar keeps popping up to the uh, left there on the screen. You can just see the edge of the ring there. Edge of the ripple. Butterfly peacock. See so if we can get another one. Okay, I'm not getting any more bites with the crankbait here, so we're going to throw in some bait. Now I've been fishing here roughly an hour in game. Um, but now we are going to uh throw in some bait so yeah so when it comes to crankbait like i said from there dead center of there and dead center of there uh we're gonna throw some bait where that ripple just came about right here uh we're not gonna use this setup because this is a big 25 pounder we are going to be using the new one the little 12 pound one here because these guys are not overly big and the bass obviously is not overly big in here but they're just a nice little fighting fish here Because uh, we haven't used this setup, this is an, basically a new setup. We're going to just turn the attention a little bit. Um, and yeah, just let the, just let we're just going to let the bait do its thing there. As you can see, you can see the float moving around, of course, because it's live bait. Uh, you've got to bear that in mind. That doesn't mean you've got any fish there. It just means the bait is doing its job. It's moving around, it's trapping the fish. So we're just going to... Oh, excuse me, just going to leave that to simmer for a bit. And hopefully we get the bite. Oh, there's the ripples. There you go. So there is definitely fish around there. I don't know what type of fish they are. I'm I'm a little bit confused. That must be some sort of new fish. Because, yeah, I've never seen ripples like that on this lake. Never seen ripples like that on the lake. Okay, uh, I'm reeling in. I've left it about 20, 20 minutes and uh, not really had anything. Not even not even a knock there. Um, I don't know whether it's because of the sardines. Or, oh, mind you, the leader length is uh, uh, not set right. Okay, that could be why as well. We didn't set leader length. So we're going to set the leader length to 25. We're always going to change the bait to something I know. What have I, brought? What have I got? I got three. Oh, no, don't, don't, don't worry. Don't worry. We're just bring some spare reels here. We're gonna change the shiners. I know shiners are a winner in here, so change the shiners, and we're gonna cast back out there. Now, a little bit too far, but this is fine. We just need to be in this vicinity to get some sort of nibble. Uh, but I didn't realize the lead length was not set. Usually the lead length already comes preset to about 20, but it wasn't, which was strange. I didn't notice it. 
so yeah, so make sure your lead length for this setup is set for 25. So let's see if we get anything on the shiners. Okay, we're getting some interest in something interested in the Shiner, but I think it's just uh, it's a little fish. Obviously not. Uh, I don't think it's. Uh, oh no. Okay, maybe I was wrong. Yeah, there was just just little knocks, and then whack, we've had a bite straight away. Okay, this is a gar. This is perfect. This is exactly what we're. Dried a corn now. There's some gar and some big bass. Just look, look at that. That's just fighting. Hardly any tension as well. That's because of the setup. We'll probably lose some XP, but we won't lose much. No, we didn't lose any. Perfect. So the setup's absolutely perfect for the gar here. Which is great. That's what we want. We don't want no XP. You'll know if you lose XP because you'll have like some red arrows pointing in like you know backwards uh, but that's just knocking the xp down it's so instead of like 83 you get something like 50 xp or whatever so you don't lose completely your xp or lose xp from your xp bar you just lose a little bit from that x that xp from that fish okay so yeah so we've got a gar so that's a good spot so what we're going to do here is like, uh, so we're going to mark it up here um Okay, so there it's marked now. Florida gar, date, time of the day, the weather, the weight, what we bait we used, so we know for future. Okay, it's marked it there, but we didn't catch it there. Why did they mark it there? Because we oh, that's where we cast in, in it yeah, because basically cast in there, and I'll bring it forward a little bit. But we cast right here. Let's see if we can uh, get another one straight on the line here. So usually gar come out at night to feed, uh, but of course we've got a couple on the crankbait. So they're obviously out feeding today. Which is nice, but yeah, usually night time is the best time to catch gar. They are nighttime feeders. And of course they feed at the top. So yeah, we're getting interest. I don't know whether this uh, is going to, the uh, shine is getting a bit frantic there, you can see it moving around a lot, so yeah, there's definitely something lingering, whether he's going to snap it straight away, it would be nice if he takes it straight away. <coughs> oh crap, excuse me, I was in the middle of coughing there, but yeah, he took it straight away. No playing with it. He just wants it. He wants that shiner. Or she. He or she. So we're going to try, going to try and lift that head. Again, it's only going to be about a six pounder. Six, seven pounder. Nothing overly big. Nope, this one's definitely putting up a fight. But it's still not not big one. It's not in the thirteen pound mark. And I see another six pounder, nice, ninety XP. So again we're gonna do this again. Casting about the same area. And yeah, this took some more.
Okay, we haven't got another one on. That was literally... Oh, this is not a car. Oh, no, I don't know. Could be. Actually, you know, it could be. Could be. Didn't look like a car when it jumped out. But I think it was just the angle. Yeah, it's definitely a car. Come on. Actually, I don't know. I really don't know, actually. This might not even be a guy. Could be a bullhead. But bullheads don't fight this much. Oh, that's a bass! It's a bass. It's a large mouth bass. Not a big mouth, a large mouth bass. Yeah, this. Fish escape because. What? No, no. Hang on, no. I call uh, BS on that one. Bastard. So we lost it. Okay, let's go again. Uh, my information, I'm going to cut that for now. Okay, so Saint's definitely chasing the Shiner around here. And snap, there it goes. Okay, so after this one, we're going to move, see if we can get some tarpon. Or some red drum or something. Or some snooks. Just to bring in a little bit more money. And then we're going to swap over and go to Quanchin, Quanchkin Lake. Yeah, it's another gar. Lovely. I've had no peacock today, unfortunately. Another six, seven pounder. Oh no, four pounder. A little bit less, but as you can see, look. We got a little red arrow here, pointing down, so it means we get less XP than what it says. That's the XP of the fish. That's a little less than what we get for it, but that's fine. That's fine. So yeah, we're going to move now over and I look at getting some tarpon and getting some rod stand going on here. So we're going to go over to here, which is the salty delta, and get set up here. Right. Let's get the rod stand out. Now, we're going to put the rod stand uh, like center here. Okay, and then we're going to get start with the first one here. As you can see, I've got a few markers around. Uh, this is a good place for getting drum and uh, snooks and tarpon uh, around here, around this tree, those, that like, little line in there. And here we can get uh, snook, red drum, and the new catfish, um, which is the here, the gaff top cell catfish. Uh, they're very small, but they are quite, they're quite little active uh, fish there. Um, Quite something different, actually, to be honest with you. They're, they're really different. Um, yeah, they're, they're definitely new since last time. So, last time I played, that is. So, yeah, let's get a cast out here. So we're going to go about there. That's beautiful. Then we're going to put this into the rod stand. Then we're going to get the next setup out. Uh, let's put this one at about 40. Yeah, let's get to a nice round number. This one here, I'm going to go with this peg is here. Just a full cast out. Right there, and this is my beautiful uh, Gars and Glory set up here. Put that in slot two, and then pull this one out. And then we're going to go over here to these here, right here. Just want to go back here. Now, this is where, like I said, it starts getting a little bit. A little bit tricky. That's going to pull the float a little bit, but that's fine because I set it up absolutely perfect. Okay, so this is my ideal fishing on this spot here at the Everglades in Florida. This is how I fish. I fish one there, one there, one there. All about 20 to 30 uh, inch leader length. Uh, all with a big bubble on. All with uh, some live bait like uh, large minnows or shiners. 
And yeah, just let the let the bait do its work. Let it do its thing. And we should get some bites soon. Okay, so we've got the bite here, we've got the take straight away. Okay, feels a nice fish. This could be a red drum or a snook. I'm kind of betting this is snook here. Snook are fighters as well, there's some nice sizes. So this is where we're going to get some really nice fighting fish now. Come this way. That's it. Come this way. Oh, no, 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 no. Come straight for me then. See that beeline he's making straight for me. And then he's fighting again. Yeah, this is a snook. By the looks of things. Yeah, there it is, look. Beautiful fish. Look at this. Look at that. Look. Absolute gorgeous fish. Eight pounder. And that's in that little section there. Like I said, we just line it up so it's a little bit further than the markers there. And then, of course, as we pull into the rod stand, it's going to adjust that bubble and the, and the hook and all that and set it straight into the ideal location for the snook. Well, not the snook, the fish, I do apologize. Right, right into the right bait site uh, that we need to catch, to get some fish on there. Okay, so let me just get in here closer so you can tell if you look here that you got like three, one, two, three, like a triangle made of twigs coming out there. Dead center there. That's where you want your float. Do you ever want to fish there yourselves or fish here yourselves? That is the ideal spot. Like I say, you can also catch those new uh, gaff cell, gaff top cell, uh, catfish there as well. <clears throat> we might get one this episode. Might get one. Can't guarantee it though. Okay, straight in for another one. Same spot. Oh, okay. Could be another snook here. The way it's fighting. Just gonna do some. Ah, oh, here we go. This is what I was on about. See how we got a bite straight on another line there. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna tackle this one a minute. Try and tense that line up a little bit. Come on, 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 come on. If we can reel this one in quicker, because that could be a tarpon. That's where we're gonna catch a tarpon, and that's what our aim is here. Come on, I don't want to. I don't want to lose that fish on the other one. But this is where you got to kind of make decisions. You see? Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, so what we're gonna do is put this rod down quickly. I'm gonna grab this one. Shit, too late. All right, I'm going quick enough. You know, so I try to get that so it lets he's fighting now. That's what I was trying to do. Get him to fight back, and then quickly put the other rod up. But no, we lost it. We lost that fish. But that's fine. That's fine, it's a joy when you're doing uh, using the rod stand, when you've got multiple rods out. You are guaranteed to lose fish here. This looks like a drum actually. Over a snook. Come on, come on. Lift you up, lift your head, come on. Thank you. No, up, 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 come on. So close. Just needing to break water again. Oh, come on. 
Come on, my friend. Come on. Yeah, this looks like a drum. Feels like a drum. It is a drum. Twenty-one pound. Oh, I've just broke a new record with that one. Nice. Let's have a little look in the camera here, shall we? Look at this. Look at that. That that's that is a beautiful, beautiful looking fish. That. Like. That is a beautiful fish. We're going to save a snapshot here. Because, like I said, this is... Uh, it's broke my record here. So, we're going to take a little screenshot there. A little snapshot. And, yeah. So, that's just broke my record on the drum. 21 pounder. Beautiful. Now, right, let's back out of here. Chuck him in the keep net. And let's cast out again. Oh, I got bass. Large amount bass, nice. <coughs> okay, so we have something on the. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. On our middle rod here. Gonna up the tension just a slight tad. This could be a tarpon. Then again, it could be a snook. Whatever it is, it's coming right for us. No. It is a tarpon. It's not a big tarpon, but it is a tarpon nonetheless. And these are monstrous fish. Look at the size of that thing. Look. It's not the biggest, neither. It's only 25 pounder. But that means we are getting tarpon interested in the shiners. It's nice baiting that area. So there should be some more tarpon around here. And we should get another one on soon. Hopefully a nice big one. Okay, so I've just reeled in, and look, we got one of the new gaff top sail catfish here, and it's a weird looking thing. Beautiful, really weird looking thing. That top dorsal fin is uh, very venomous, um, and yeah, so it's the same spot as we caught the uh, caught the um, uh, red drum in. But yeah, look at it. Just look at it. This is just. It's beautiful, but really weird, really weird. So yeah, that's definitely a new uh, fish since last time I've um, fished here. Well, yeah, properly fished on this game. But yeah, so that's over that spot there, exactly where the red drum and the snook we've been catching from.
Okay, just uh, look at a nice red drum here. And as you can tell, we are now into the night hours here. And um, we've only got about half an hour left of good fishing. Um, so we are going to get this half hour done and then we're going to have to call it for this video. I know I said I was at the beginning of the episode, I know I said I wanted to get to Quanchin, Quanchkin Lake, but that's not going to happen. Um, <laughs> I kind of overestimated how long we're going to be on one lake, and it's only day one, you see. Um, so, I know I paid for three, which is fine, we made the money back, that's great, but there's no way in hell I can get a Quanchkin Lake on here. So, next episode, we're going to do Quanchkin Lake. I do apologize. Um, I really kind of should plan ahead, but then when you kind of think of what you want to do for the episode so i wanted to go to Quanchkin lake do some gar fishing and some cat fishing there with you guys um but of course we needed that money to be able to get there and they probably could have bought like a day or two license but i wanted to say that so we can go there again you know um but yeah um that's fine though we've done some really good we've had some really good uh fish today Really good fish. Um, as you saw, we got some nice. I got another nice uh, tarpon, and a nice unique um, the gaff top sail catfish in the montage there. And we got a nice unique one. Uh, one of those new catfish. Got a nice unique one, which is nice. As I said, we had some real nice fish today. Real nice fish. And um, but we're just gonna finish off this day, and finish off this episode here. Not here, but finish off the day, then finish off the episode. Um, but yeah. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we got a nice snook on here, and this is probably going to be the last fish we catch here. So we got a nice common snook, eleven pounder. Uh, gave us a gave us quite a nice fight there to end this day. So we are going to end this day. There's only about ten minutes left of good fishing here. Um, we probably carry on, but unfortunately, we also have to end this episode. I can't just think of time in game. We've got to think of time in reality. So, you yeah, know, unfortunately, we've got to end this episode. So. Let's reel in the rods here, and then we're going to go through the keep net, and uh, yeah, just see how much we've made today, what fish we got, uh, how much XP and how much cash we also uh, reeled in. Yeah. Uh, so just give us a couple of minutes here just to pack up the pack up my gear. 
We're not going to leave. I'm going to stay here and do a little bit more fishing. Um, do a little bit more fishing. And uh, yeah, so <coughs> we're not going to leave. Okay, so let's have a look here then. Uh, so in the fish keeper net, this is obviously where all the fish we've kept. So where we put in a keep net. So we've got some some gaff top sail catfish here, look. and uh, got some nice ones there. Got some largemouth bass. Got a couple of trophy largemouth bass there. Uh, no peacocks, unfortunately today. Uh, we got a couple of Florida gardas. Got a couple there, which of course is the like you know ones we hooked out straight away. Loads of snook, loads of common snook. There's the unique gaff top sail with the, uh, catfish there. Let's have a look at this beauty. There you go, that a nice seven pound unique gaff top sail. And again, that's over in that spot to the right where we caught all these snook and red drum. Also, broke my record with the drums today. Got a nice record breaking drum. Well, my personal record breaker drum, 21 pounder. And I've got a couple of tarp in there. Not big ones, not overly big ones, but. Uh, still very nice size ones, 25 and 32. Uh, we will probably go after some big tarpons soon, but like I said, next episode we will go over. I will set it up and we'll go over to um, uh, Quanchkin, Quanchkin Lake and uh, see about getting some nice big uh, alligator gar and some uh, catfish there. So that's what I've got planned for next episode. I had a plan for this episode, but we're going to do it next episode now. Just because the principal fact, well, just <laughs> yeah, you can't really put you know three hours of fishing onto yeah. You know, that's one day, like three hours of fishing is like one day in game. Uh but yeah, so uh, I do apologise, like I said, for that. So yeah, so we got a max total of two hundred and seventy pound in weight, uh, twenty seven fish, and we got thirteen thousand and fifty five cash. Uh, obviously, it doesn't. It, does tell you the XP for the single fish, but not um, altogether. But the max XP for the fish we got was the big top in there for 351 XP. Yeah, I think, yeah, so we've had a really nice day fishing. Really nice day fishing. Uh, so, yeah, so I hope you've enjoyed. If you have, remember to smash the thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel and like what you see, uh, hit the subscribe button. You know, show your support for the channel, which is appreciated. And, uh, yeah, there's not much more to say. Oh, this has been Fishing Planet, and I will see you guys and gals in the next episode. So remember to have fun, keep gaming, and I'll see you then. Goodbye.